Hey guys, Tyler here. Potion Craft just got a massive update. I'm no longer playing the Potion Craft demo, I'm playing the Potion Craft playtest version. And this version has a lot of new content, including the alchemy machine. I'm meeting a guy who is selling me alchemy machine devices because the one in the basement is broken but soon we'll be able to use it once we buy the devices in addition to that there's a bunch of other content with uh, achievements not really achievements um just xp gains and goals and quests all the stuff from the demo fit into chapter was one and two and now there's four chapters of new stuff including the alchemy machine so let's see creating solutions in the alchemy machine is the pinnacle of alchemy arts it'll take my potion craft to the next level and it's gonna have me build crazier recipes and more or insane stuff except an alchemy sh machine is 1600 you can't just dangle this in front of me you don't even have enough money if you haggle well Okay, can I sell something? What if I like collect stuff from the garden and sell that? I like, let's see, I need the alchemy machine. Let's let's load up damn near everything. All right, let's see if I can haggle perfectly, it'll be good. Crossing my fingers. Oh my God. <laughs> the alchemy machine is mine. I've leveled up, it's perfect. I repaired the alchemy machine. Have a good day, sir. I will level myself up. I don't know, just visibility radius, that's fine. And then we'll check out the basement. Our alchemy machine is here. I spent my last penny on it. So we gotta create a uh, Negrito. And it seems that there's instructions. We have to place a bunch of different potions in all the sections. And then we create this, al oh, this, this ingredient, whatever this crystal thing is in there. I, I guess that will still be worth doing. I just have to work on that on the side as I make potions for these people to get my money back. And for those who don't know the game, this is a game about making potions and selling them to customers. I had to haggle just now, but it looks like you want a healing potion. I desperately need money, so I'm going to haggle the crap out of these customers. You don't want to know what I've had to do with my money recently. There's a house in her village where a witch once lived. She died a long time ago, and no one has lived in the house since. But lately, the terrible screams can be heard from coming from me at night. Now the villagers want to burn the house down with a fire potion. Very well. I do have a strong potion of fire. I can brew real easily and sell to you to burn the witch. Now, all these potions I am making with recipes, but I hope we will get to create some because the charm of this game is not just the selling but also the crafting of potions and let's see you have a well on your property and scary start sounds started coming out from recently oh i bet it's the witch whose house just got destroyed and you want to throw a bomb in the well to kill the monster and collapse the well in case there's more than one creature down there potion of explosion i'll happily sell you that and for a lot of money very nice. Very nice. We've reached maximum reputation. Oh, a good seller. I could buy some stuff back. And I just sold off Ice Street. Let's try Thunder Thistles and Fire Bells. And I should be able to afford this. This isn't too bad. Unless the dude comes by with another really pricey Alchemist machine. This is a lot of Fire Bells, though. Do I really need that many? I have 28 at this point. Let's just buy like five. Now, one thing this update did not include was more ways to haggle. It seems like it's the same haggling minigame. I feel like it would be cool if there were a bunch of different haggling minigames to kind of switch it up because different customers have different debating styles. Help me replenish my supply of poisons. I had some with me, but the hunt turned out wild. I had to drink every last one. I need a potion that accelerates wound healing, preferably not very toxic. So, are you a hunter? You hunt... Trolls, ogres, and various ghouls. I like all the new characters showing up. That's pretty sweet. There's more people in this village and they live complex lives. But you just need a healing potion. As complex as your life can be, you still need a simple potion and I can deliver for that. Also, the reputation can kind of keep going up. We're shop popularity level 5 with a bunch of bonuses. Our potions sell for more and then merchants have more things. And then there's a better chance for discounts. But then if a customer gets refused we lose popularity that didn't always happen so you want a potion of fast growth for your plants on your balcony i can help with that i know a lot about things that grow fast 
Oh, what is this? All right, this is new. I might have used this recipe so many times that I can't use it anymore. Okay, I guess I gotta scrap it and make it from hand. Potion of fast growth was down below. So let's make something I want to go to the right, then down, then left. Or, oh, you know what? Maybe I just didn't have the ingredients. I don't know what ingredients were needed, but they just weren't ones I have. Well, I want to make one with basic ingredients. You know, something I do have. So a little bit of water bloom. And then a bunch of things taking it south, so some terraria. And if this is the first time you're checking out the game, I mean, this is the reason that kind of caught my eye. The crafting system in this is just immaculate, really. So then I need a way to get to, to the left. Ooh, but that's not good enough. That's not good enough. I want it to, like, perfectly overlap. All right, here's how I want to do this. I'm going to do a fire bloom. And I'm going to mash it to, like, about... About there, I think. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to add a, another terraria. And I'm hoping that this will just lead it over, directly over the potion thing. And that it'll get me a tier 3. We want to get to as close to overlapping with this potion on the map as possible. Only partial overlaps tier 1. A little bit better gets me tier 2. And tier 3 isn't happening here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around and then double back. Now, if you look really closely, I don't know how well this can be seen on YouTube, but there's a tiny indicator showing which way my potion is towards the main, so I can gauge how well um, doing water will lead me in the right direction. And I think I got it pretty well. Now I just gotta take it slowly and tier three. It's beautiful, a quality recipe. I will fan the flames, get my fast growth, save this recipe, and finish it so there we go time to grow your plants i went through a lot to get this i had to actually make the potion from scratch again this costs extra all right so now that i'm getting some money back i think at the end of the day i'm gonna try to do some alchemy you need a potion that will expose this sorcerer who's wearing an invisibility cloak if i had to guess it'd probably be a magic potion i don't have a magic potion saved i want to make a magic potion well, let's try it. There we go, tier three. Beautiful potion. Let's save that recipe, finish it. I don't know if it's what he's looking for. No, it's not actually at all. What if it's like a new type of potion? What if it's something back here? So usually potion types are, or similar potion types are close to each other in proximity. Something near the mana one. So maybe this one, I don't know. I'll try it, I guess. This potion actually looks really hard to get through. I have to get through a bunch of skulls. So let's let's go this far and see how close this gets to the bones. If I'm overlapping the bones too long, that just destroys my potion. So... Okay, I'm good actually. I'm safe here even. Now can I make it to this potion? Is there something that goes up and to the right conveniently? Oh, the witch mushroom is perfect, but it goes right through the bones. I think I have to risk this. It's so perfect. I'll just hope it doesn't go wrong. No! <laughs> it was almost out of the bones. Uh, I went slow for effect. I, you know, it was close. All right, we got to get there though. I wasted a bunch of ingredients. I don't have that many left. I might have to go like the long way. Maybe I'll come from the top. This is gonna be a weird recipe. I don't know. Let's try it, though. Goblin Shroom's a little bit off. I could probably add in another Water Bloom half, though. Let me see, though. Let me get to here first, just to make sure I'm not accidentally killing it so far. Like, let me mash it so it's a little bit farther this way and hope that this is safe. I think it will be safe, actually, because I think Terraria will be fine. Just a little extra mashing as a backup somehow. Yeah, okay, that escaped. So, what I wanted to do was actually when it's here, just try to line it up with the dotted line itself and just bring it in with water. I could have undershot it. That's fine, if so. There we go. Okay, I don't know what this is going to do. Oh, it's magical vision. Yep, that's definitely the potion I want. And this is an efficient-ish recipe. I'll save it. I'm running out of space in the book. 
but I got some uh, XP for that. That's absolutely what you want. If you said no, <laughs> I would have been so disappointed. Like, this is word for word what you're looking for. Yeah, enjoy your extra price. Uh, that's the end of the day. Now, I have 560 coins. I, I, I'm almost out of ingredients, so I don't know how much of this I'll be able to do. But I might try to get started on some of these. Or at least I should try to figure out what the potion next to the poison and the mana are. Or wait a second. Another theory. Maybe this, like, isn't one symbol for each potion. Maybe it's referring to the dots up here. Like, I have to make combination potions and then put them in. I bet that's it. So I have to make a combination potion of these. I have to do a strong potion of healing. A combination potion of these and these. And then whatever the hell this combination potion is. Fire, lightning, ice, and sun? Like, that sounds ridiculous. But let's start by figuring out the potions I don't have. So let's try figuring out the one next to poison first. I'm sure it's located by poison. I feel like it's not this one, but it could be this one. Nevertheless, let's try to get there. Realize now this potion is very dangerous. At least that leveled up. Please don't kill me. Thank God. Am I going to get a tier 3? I do want to shoot for tier 3, even though I have no idea what this is. Oh, is this as far as it goes? All right, it's really close. Let's uh, just add another Terrarian. I should be good. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's see what it is. Oh, this is the stone skin. Well, I'm glad I went here. I needed this one. Or I needed to know where this one was, at least. Still, I'll save the recipe, finish the potion. Uh, the next potion, I, well, I still want to figure out the poison one. Oh, I see a dashed line going through here. It just looks like an extreme poison. So I think going in that direction will be helpful. Okay, this is a long journey, but it's almost over. Come on. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Almost there. There we go. Please have this be the one I was looking for. It is! It's the Potion of Acid. Alright, so then I want to find the Potion of Magical Lunacy. The spirally thing. So I assume that's also by magic. Probably top right? Do I have enough though to get there? You know, I don't actually. I think I need to make this potion in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna watch this sweet nighttime animation. Or not because I'm actually sleeping. And then I'm gonna get some garden ingredients and hopefully that'll be enough to carry me and oh i leveled up yeah let's take some i think i actually want to do trading for co for cost two trading's pretty good all right yeah uh you you're selling gems you're not the seller i was hoping would show up to be completely honest yeah let's just make a bit more money they want a fire potion i can do that without losing anything too important so they can roast their hogs yeah, uh, have fun with your hogs, boys. Good enough. We're a local alchemist, level six. Popularity level six. So merchants have 50% more ingredients and there's an even greater penalty for a customer being refused or leaving. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, you're a seller. You're a mushroom seller. That's good enough for me. I need right moving shrooms. This is right and down. It's not too bad. I'll start with that. Looking for like right and up, like witch mushrooms. Witch mushrooms are exactly what I wanted. Maybe a couple goblin shrooms, just cause I have a few already. I might try to stockpile on those, but this is a lot. 603 on the board right now. Witch mushrooms are just gonna be everything for me. All right, let's haggle. All right, good. My ingredients are doing a lot better. So let's see. They want cockroaches, gone. Well, poison potion's pretty good for that. I could do a potion of acid if I wanted to. I think I'm good, I think I'll do the potion of poison. I don't think they want to apply acid to their floors. I feel like the cockroaches would win in that situation. Not like a literal victory, they would still die, but so would their floor. Oh God, I suck at haggling and talking. You know what, it's still a net for me, that's fine. 
I gotta be silent when haggling, haggling, I swear. I have a crush on a young man. He doesn't feel the same and that drives me crazy. I need a potion that will help me win his heart. Is this unethical? Probably, but I wanna see what happens. I need a love potion. Is that what? No, there's no way that that's what this is. That can't be a love potion. But then again, <laughs> who knows? Uh, where do we think a love potion would be? I mean, it could be top right. It could also be bottom right. Oh, well, it's called potion of charm. That's actually probably the one we want. Where do we think charm could be? I think charm is kind of like magic, but charm is also like fast growing, if you know what I mean. So I, I'll try the magic one first. I was gonna go here anyway. So witch mushrooms are definitely the play here. Probably two of those, and then I can just go skyward, and I'll be good. Alright, there it is. Will the witch mushroom work? Not really. I guess I could do a water bloom here. Alright, that's lined up decently. Put that in. And then I'm gonna try a cloud crystal, I think. Yeah, I have this cloud crystal. It's new. I don't know what this thing that's moving it along, though. I wonder if, like, this is actually a little bit excessive for a cloud crystal, but nothing says charm like being on cloud nine. So I'm gonna try it, adding to my recipe. Oh, so that's what that means. <laughs> I've never done that before. I guess a teleportation's pretty helpful in certain circumstances. Not this one though. Now I need to burn a Terraria. Wait, do I need Terraria? I probably don't need Terraria. I need something else. Well, I guess I just need something that moves to the right. I might have overdone it again. Mmm. I poured in too much water. This whole thing's been a mess. This whole recipe is just a disaster, really. So what I'll do, I'll just mash extra, because it's not going to teleport me. But at least this way I can use water to help me out. This is better be worth it. Let's see it. Potion of bounce. No, I'm not going to save this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she wants the bounce, although that is very attractive to the male species, I would know. I don't quite think the ability to, like, leap six feet high is quite what she's looking for. Well, I guess it could go down, then. It's kind of in the direction of the hearts, so maybe it's similar. Alright, we'll see how far I can get down without terrarias. I mean, a goblin shrooms are decent at that. Alright, so a green mushroom to start with. And then a bunch of goblin shrooms, and we're just going south. Let me see at least where this takes me. Oh, brown mushroom looks like it'll be good. Yeah, I can just add that then. All right, looks like it misses, but it doubles back, which means I can just add water. Now, maybe I should have mashed it just for the extra safety. I think I'll be all right. Nice. Please be charm. Potion of slow down. I don't know. I don't think I want to save this recipe either. Uh, cool. I guess we got a thing from chapter four. Potion of charm. Maybe it's by sleeping? Oh, there's another dotted line past these. Damn, that's really far out. I mean, I have a bunch of witch mushrooms though, so I might as well use them. I got to find this. Do I think it's in this pocket? I hope so. But there's a chance I could just be backing myself into a corner. Or trapping myself. Well, let's use my last water bloom and then see. Because maybe a witch mushroom could still get me there. It actually might be able to. Oh, it looks like it's just gonna miss. Do I have anything better than a witch mushroom for this? Like, witch mushroom with, uh, with a goblin shroom in water could probably get it done. As sloppy as that sounds. I think I'm going to send it all the way. And you'll see why. First off, I level up. That's good. Hmm. I'll chill. Because I wanted to do the goblin shroom. And I know for a fact the goblin shroom will intersect. Like, even, even just this. So stir it a little, and then line it up. It's actually hard to see, though. 
So I think I just need to use older methods. Back in the day, I didn't have the perfect alignment tool. I just had to use my own knowledge. Please be charm. It's hallucinations. Well, this is the one for the alchemy machine, but not at all charm. Another tier four potion. Damn, dude, I, I can't find charm to save my life. At least I'm making progress towards the alchemy machine. Well, the bad news is I'm out of things that go to the right. So I think I'm just gonna have to let this person go and then try to sell some of these potions I've created. Oh, well. Oh, I got plus five reputation. It was, <laughs> it was negative, negative this whole time. It doesn't matter because these potions will be sold eventually and the knowledge is, it can't be priced, but it, <laughs> that was hilarious. Of course, it's uh, unethical. Oh, so you want a lightning potion. I don't have that. I don't have a recipe. Do I have a way to get up there? Witch mushroom and wind bloom. Okay, actually I have a pretty convenient recipe. Just witch mushrooms, wind blooms, and fire bells. So about there. And then, yeah, just mash this all the way and that should work. Line up the indicator. Sweet. All right, that's a sweet recipe right there. That one's pretty efficient. Hold on, let's see what I can get rid of in this book. Poisoning, healing, I mean, all these are pretty important. Oh yeah, I guess there is one. Well, um, this was an inefficient recipe anyway. I only have the best recipes for heal healing and poisoning in my book, so it's time for you to go. Let's save this one. And let's make some money. All right, finally, a good source of income. Thank you for helping out small businesses. Someone had an accident in the garden. The site is not for the faint of hearts. I need the flowers and grass to grow rapidly and help me hide the mess. Um, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I think I'm good. All right, well, let's see. I have this much ingredients left. Customers are gone for the day. Do I think I can make any of the potions called for in here? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it a night and first thing next episode, I'm gonna tackle it. I did not think that it would be that tricky to get what's needed to get there, but I need more ingredients. I need better ingredients. Let me collect these ingredients and hope this helps. I have three water blooms and seven terrarias and yeah, not even close. So hopefully next episode, I will get the ingredients necessary to make these crazy potion combinations. <laughs> Buying this put me in massive debt and I'm digging my way out. So will I be able to make the cool alchemy machine thing next episode? Cross your fingers, I'll see you there. And thank you all for watching. Hope you had a great time. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. Peace.